Yo, what's up my artist? It's your boy Bonkey, the artist, the originator of Top Tier Hair Club. Hold up, we got a little wave video, so today I'm gonna do a... <sighs> yes sir, those waves were baking for a little bit. There's some ripples, there's some ripples, but you know, we're working on something. I did a self cut, so I feel pretty good about myself. However, this video, man, my client has very, very extremely curly hair, so I had to take my time with this. Um, it is a wave tutorial. I'm giving you different wave secrets. Matter of fact, we're going to say about three to five hacks on how to really lay your waves down, how to moisturize them, all that. And we're also hitting his beard. We're making sure that beard stays wide as well. Um, we're doing a low ball drop fade. All right. I'm also using clip over comb as well. So, hey man, it's a good tutorial. I hope y'all like it. Make sure you watch the whole thing. And before I go, make sure y'all hitting that like, subscribe, and that notification bell, okay? And make sure y'all comment too, because that lets me know what else I need to do, what else I need to work on, or what type of videos you want to see next, okay? Because we're dropping weekly. See y'all later. Peace. Stay in hustle mode. Got some brand new clothes. Hit them with a pose. Check what I just drove. My car don't test the road. All right, good people. So we just combed out my client's hair. This is what we're working with. This has to be at least about two months to grow. So we're starting off with our number two wall premium guard. We're gonna cut through the hair. We're gonna comb in the, in the direction of the hair. All right, now we're gonna go against the grain because my client is getting a, a low drop fade. Now since his hair is curly, it curls up, so we have to take our guard and we have to go against the grain in certain areas, and that certain area is the hairline. Because you see that big curl that's overlapping right there, gotta go ahead and make that make sure it's flat. Alright, that's our first bald line for our drop fade. Now let's go ahead and take our tap and go hairline spritz by top tier hair club and spray it on the skin. We're gonna let it air dry. Now we're raking down that that guideline but just softening it up because we want to keep it as low as possible there we go we're going to use the corner of the blades to make our curve we're going to keep the line going now we're just attacking the other side Right now we're doing a little bit of clip over comb action. So right now I'm just softening it up and debulking that first initial guideline. Well actually this is the middle line, I'm so sorry. Clip over comb is not hard at all. Once you get the hang of it, you really get the hang of it. Alright, so I like to keep my beard lines as wide as possible. That's why I'm making that back curve out like that. You want to keep as much hair as possible. That's why we did spray our um, hairline spritz on the back neck as well. I don't typically use shave gel on the back neck because a lot of people tend to bump up right there. Because that is a part of the nape area and when you're putting the razor on the nape area, it tends to irritate the skin. All right, we just wiped that residue line off. Now we're keeping the beard as wide as possible. My client says he wants that Philly look. He wants the curve. He wants it. He wants it very bushy. All right, now we're taking our. This is our razor comb. Okay, the razor comb is just not, just debulking some of the hair off the hairline and in the fade. 
Now we're taking our wall cordless detailers and we're going to start our hairline off. This is just our first initial hairline. I have a gold TY blade on it. Those are my favorite blades to use because you get all up in those corners just like I just did like that. And you also you can start your C cups really, really good with them as well. However, those blades are super, super sharp. So we're going to go ahead and use some blades that I know for a fact isn't going to irritate the skin on that C cup. I'm going to razor that line up just one more time. Now let's get into some guard action. We're going to start off with our Andy Single Magnetic Zero Guard. Now when I'm fading, I'm fading from down to up. So I'm starting off closed and then I go halfway and I go up, a, I go up half an inch and then I open the lever all the way and then I go up another half inch and then I start the same process with my number one guard. Yes, that's an Andy's single magnetic number one guard. All right, now we're taking our razor comb once again and we're debulking any of the faded area is mostly where you know that contrast really starts in that fade that's where you want to debulk the most just so you can have a smoother blend especially when the hair is curly So what we do on one side, we must do on the other. So look how I got that beard curved out just perfectly. That's how you keep it wide as possible, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's take our razor. I'm using some door cold blades, by the way. And we're gonna start that curve on the other side as well. Now this side is a lot lighter. I don't know if my client was, you know, messing around and shaving himself, but we had to restart that line all over again. Which is okay, which is okay. Now that residue line, that's just to keep track of where my line is. I don't want to go too too deep into the beard. I will remove it once we, you know, we're cleaning up and everything. Once again, I love these TY blades because they get in those corners, especially on this on this curly hair. When they're sharpened and modified, there's no stopping them at all, guarantee you. I'm cleaning up with my sabers. I love these bad boys, man. These blades, they really, they surprise me. I'll tell you that. Now we're taking our Icy Blue Foam Wrap by Top Tier Hair Club, okay? That is on the website at www.toptierhairclub.com Now we're going to go ahead and take some settle field, take a facial sponge I'm all about giving my clients experience So we're going to go ahead and wash his face under the steamer real quick It's just like a 5 minute you know, service, it don't take too long But before we put the towel on, we're going to go ahead and hit him with some dandruff healing conditioner by Top Tier Hair Club as well It's very minty so it opens up the pores Especially when you put that towel on Climb, you know they feel relaxed all right now we're going to go ahead and put some cherry beard oil in his beard you can also find this on top tier hair club.com as well now we're going to go ahead and take that wrap away pomade that's all you need it's just about a dime size i'm showing my client how to you know properly use it you want to you know evenly spread it around around your um, palms and your fingertips you just want to rub it all the way in i love it i love my pomade because it is water-based it rinses out easily and you don't need too much it's not extra thick all right now we're gonna go ahead and take our magic pencil just we're using the white pencil because my client's skin tone is a lot lighter than the the brown pencil that i normally use now we're going to go ahead and pick out his beard with the hot pick comb okay yes sir let's let's take that line out now it's more defined you can see it he can you, he can see it as well. He has hope in his beard. And voila, there go those waves. Now his hair is very curly, so I should have probably blow dried it on high heat for a little bit longer. 
but I, I kept it on there for about five minutes my blow dryer does get pretty hot so I didn't want to burn the scalp and I'm giving you that up close and personal angle these are my green goblins right here y'all these are the uh, bad bliss low pros they were customized by B Clark, B Clark Customs shout out to him those blades are snipping man shout out to Clipper Grinder as well y'all can get some of his blades at clippergrinder.com Now we're just, clean, just smearing out that pencil line. Uh, I also did razor out the pencil line as well. I just couldn't get a good angle because I was holding the phone on my neck. Look at that C cup, man. Now that's a real C cup right there. Extra sharp. That's a nice fade, man. Now my client just said get the straggly hairs. Like I said, he wants to let his beard grow out. All right. It's that mirror action. He likes it. He's satisfied. Matter of fact, he loves it. He said, I brought him back to life. I appreciate him so much. And I thank him for always coming through. This is the haircut, y'all. This is the, this is, you could say it's a mid-drop fade. I tried to keep it as low as possible. I guess I was just trying to stretch it a little bit. But it still came out nice. It still came out beautiful. My clients is happy. He's satisfied. That's all that matters, okay? More videos are dropping weekly. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Von Keith out. Hey, and hustle mode. Got some brand new clothes. Hit them with a pose. Check what I just drove. My car don't touch the road.